Good morning. Thank you for the CMA coordination team and, and members to allow us to be part of this meeting. Today, I will be presenting the project Integrated Transboundary Ridge to Reef Management of the Mesoamerican Reef. Uh, it's here to call Mar to R because, as you can see, for Spanish speaking people, it's like uh, trabalenguas. So, I'm from WWF. Uh, uh, Mesoamerican Reef Office. We're based in Guatemala, but we have as a priority for region the Mesoamerican Reef. And 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 last year, WWF became a GEF agency. So this is one of the first projects that we we present, and uh, I will uh, show you some details of it. <clears throat> so. The objective of this project is to support regional collaboration for the integrated reach to reef management of the transboundary Mesoamerican Reef by demonstrating its advantages and improving regional, national, and local capacities for the integrated management and governance of its freshwater, coastal, and marine resources. And here is the first link to CMA, because even though this is a reach to reef approach, we are taking into account coastal and marine uh, spaces. So, so that will be one of the links that we can find to many of the activities that we will have. Another thing that is important to note is that this is a um, country, uh, a four country initiative. It's uh, those countries that are part of the Mesoamerican Reef and are Belize, Mexico, Guatemala, and Honduras. So um, obviously WWF is the agency, the GEF agency, and another important executing partner would be the Central American Commission for Environment and Development, the CCAD. Um, they, they couldn't be here in this meeting, but they are eager to know what are the outcomes of this meeting and how we can link to other initiatives in the region or that include the region. So um, you can be asking what is the reach to reef approach and why is Usually, the Mesoamerican Reef is thought as a marine area. But from the definition of the Mesoamerican Reef, you can see from the picture that I have in, in here, the Mesoamerican Reef region encompasses watersheds and all coastal and marine zones. So the idea of this project is to mm -hmm. engage in activities or conservation activities or reduction of threats activities in the land but in the land part of the Mesoamerican Reef but also in the coastal and marine areas. Um, this is some of the approach that WWF has been taking in this region for many years so we're building on, on the, on the uh, already existing collaboration alliances that we have but also an experience and, and other things that we have been doing as, as also the countries of the region have been engaging in this type of activities. The project is divided in four components and basically they are related to, the first component is to related to resource governance, how is it strengthened and how we can promote regional collaboration to agree, to, to get agreements to work together among the countries to, in, on behalf of the Mesoamerican Reef. Um, this is also um, building upon an agreement that has been signed by the four countries previously called Tulum Plus Eight. The second component is related to watershed and freshwater resources. The component three is related to the coastal marine resources. And those two components are related to uh, re reducing threats to the Mesoamerican American Reef. And the component four is basically knowledge sharing and project monitoring. I can show you, this is the relevance, uh, the results, the expected results from the comp the comp each component. But I will show you, and, and you will have the presentation, so I, I'm not going to read them to you, but I, I think there's one that is very important because one of the, the results or the, is, is to develop or to have policy making or decision making based on science and information. And through that, we need, we are planning to have a regional environmental observatory that is building from a previous project called MBRS, that is Mesoamerican Barrier Reef System that was uh, like a previous um, initiative in the, in the region. 
but we want to have this platform for joint decision making, not local, but joint in decision making on behalf of uh, achieving specific results at the Mesoamerican Reef level. So I see um, <coughs> opportunities to share information, not only the ones that you have, but the information that we could develop through this project. And it will be watershed, coastal marine information, also support the decision making processes. That's also one of the uh, outcomes or the expected results that the CMA2 has. But we have to take into account that this is a, it has a smaller geographic scope. We are four countries, and you're talking about um, a bigger number of countries, but I think it's worthwhile evaluating what information you have and what information we can bring to the table or where we can contribute. And um, that's based on that, we propose uh, several activities. And first, I think there's a, a need to know of knowledge of the CMA information platform and uh, obtain lessons learned related to sustainability, build CCID's regional environmental observatory taking account this information and lessons learned. And this is coming from us writing the product, so it's very important not to, it's, it's important to uh, learn from the experiences from others and, and try to build upon what is already on, in place. And in the product, we can consider some contribution to the CMA, CMA but also com provide complementary information. So basically, this is, in a nutshell, <laughs> the project and how we can join efforts. And thank you for your attention. Sorry for the speed. Hello, my <laughs> 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 <laughs>